There was a time a few years back when Burt Cooper was a number of a prospect to assume. Hey, hey, I'm try. This round is very significant it's again and significant again in front of the hometown people. Maybe try. And Holyfield starts out establishing the jab. Cooper throws a long right hand and misses. And Holyfield hit him twice when he got himself straight. Holyfield wobbled him, wobbled him a little bit with that left toe. The right cross was a beauty. Long time to go in the first round. Cooper comes to vision. You think of Tyson Spinks. Another right hand. Low blow. Pulled his trunks down even further. Team before the fight, he landed 49 of 76 punches, according to Punch Stat. Opinion that Ford Ray Mercer, he certainly got hurt with that left hook to the body, but he got up and he's scooper, but he's he's chose to fight him and get him out of there. We also have to wonder, Gil, whether this crowd enthusiasm has its his right hand. It's a sneaky short right hand. That's one area where he's gotten a lot better. He was. Good left to the body by Cooper inside. And the right hand. Coming to a close. Bert Cooper establishing himself. How much longer he's prepared to go at this pace. But on the other hand, they're telling Holt. Cooper's fight. And there's that big. And Holyfield wobbles in the corner. The champion in trouble. Cooper bangs away. Holyfield almost goes down. You've got high drama in a. There's that sneaky and right hand, hand, Jim. Holyfield in serious, serious trouble. And he's overworking that right hand. Help out a little bit with that flurry. Oh, what a right hand by Holyfield. And now it's Cooper who is standing to start this rally. But Burt Cooper won't go down. Holyfield misses the right. Cooper lands. Trying to outgut the other guy. There's that. But Larry in a heavyweight well, fight, one punch by either guy. That right hand, I, I, as I say, Bright works that overtime. T, I'll never quit, and he's not quitting. 11, two weeks ago. That's very dangerous, particularly for a big fighter. Cooper's punches seat now. There's that right hand again. I'm gonna fight this kind of a fight, and I still felt that he'd win the fight. Has helped Bert Cooper. And this has been another largely even run. Spotted that in Evander Holyfield's corner. It's Christmas than he anticipated about a month ago. And if he keeps. Oh, look at that. These are awesome punches. And Cooper and decided not to do it. And he'll take punishment. The uppercut's for been the punch, Jim. Go back to the left of the body and the right uppercut. There it is. There's that yep. uppercut, Jim. He didn't forget him. History of the sport. But is he overtrained coming into this fight? Cooper lands a left hook off of his right eye. You may remember before the fight. Exploding right hand by Cooper. And a punch. The amateurs. It's never really showed in the pros. Nailing Cooper with going keeps the fighter in the battle. There's that. Oh, what a right hand! The knockdown by the referee. Earlier we we talked about the cut glove. Now we're talking about ointment and an eye. Another uppercut. I'm sorry, the jab. Now is the time when he can use a good stiff jab. Goop the straight line. Oh, what a bomb! That was supposed to be a good punch, and I saw Cooper do exactly the same thing. But he started to do it again. But now Holyfield rips another uppercut, and Cooper standing stuck still. This good practice, but he's not going to get him. I don't think he's going to get him. Mills Lane has seen enough. If they'd have been here for 50 rounds, <laughs> they wouldn't have seen as many punches land as if they, if they took the vendor. Real deal. Holy field.